What's happening with it? This is Slink Johnson, a.k.a. Black Jesus, your Lord and Savior. And you're listening to the Red Rock Podcast Network. How you love that? You are listening to the Red Rock Podcast Network, featuring Pod of Thrones and the Shiznit. This is the Red Rock Podcast Network. From Red Rock Studios in Los Angeles, California, this is the Shiznit. Now, put your hands together for the Shiznit. Welcome back to another episode of the Shiznit Show. I am your boy. I am your host, Dino Red. And I have with me, as always, my ride or die, Miss Dejan Monique. What's up, world? It's your girl. The man, the myth, the legend, Mr. Pip Lily. This week, I'm moving on up, y'all. That's yes, right. you are. Packing you, it up, moving it out. That's did you right. watch it? Did you watch the special? Oh, you know what? I did watch part of it. I didn't like it. I didn't like it. Oh, but I didn't which like part it. did you watch? Did you miss, you saw all, you saw the I, Jefferson, I the saw, Miss All in the Family? I saw, I saw a little bit All in the Family. I, my friend Ike played Mike. Okay. And uh, so I was interested, but it, it was kind of like they just did the old show with the old costumes and, and the old. They tried to be the old characters, everything. And oh like, wow, I, I didn't like that. Yeah, I was like, I was. It's like a play. I thought, yeah, yeah, it was, it was like a play. I thought that they were going to put some it was, fresh on it. It was the characters. I thought it was going to be like the 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 same story, but like updated in the modern times or something. Mm-hmm. Right. But no, mm-hmm. everything was. You know, all the set was the same. Obviously, everything was the same. It, like you said, Pip, it was like a play. What? They, they tried to, they all, when we said, oh, I said last week, they could go two ways with it. They could either try to mm-hmm. recreate the, the characters as as is, as the original actors portrayed them, or they could bring their own to it or whatever. A twist. Yeah, they didn't, they didn't really bring a twist. Wow. They all tried to basically imitate the other ones. And, you know, I, I like Marissa Torme. Which was the one I was most skeptical about. Oh. And uh, she turned out I liked her probably the best of anybody. Okay. But um, it was still entertaining for me, and it was still fun. It I would have liked them to have done something different mm-hmm. or done something, like some kind of twist instead of just doing... The, and I kind of don't see, like, okay, Norman Lear's thing was like, oh, this can still be done today. I thought he was going to show me how it could still be done right. today. He just showed me what they did Back, back then, then, right now. Wow. And I was like, well, yeah. I could just watch a rerun. Right, yeah, I could watch a rerun. Well, yeah. think, about, think about this. Every time they do something from television from the past that they try to bring back, they try to do it like the old days and it doesn't work. You got to put mm-hmm. your new twist on mm-hmm. it. Right. You got to put it for modern, modern audiences. Right, right. So like, right. Remember, like the variety show been coming back, but ain't nobody had a variety show that's really worked. Mm-hmm. Except, you know, unless they, it's like games or something like that. Right. Like what Ellen was doing or something. Like nobody wants to see that anymore. That, that format, like Donnie and Marie, that's not coming back. Yeah, you gotta do it another way, and like you can't show us some sitcom that's fifty years old and just do Mm-mm. it that. And like I thought, at least nothing else is gonna have different costume design, a different set. Does anybody know why Marla Gibbs played herself instead of the original? Um, what's the Latino lady's name? We said was the slated Justina to play. Machado. Just yeah, I can't remember oh, her name. Oh right. But yeah, it ended up being Marla Gibbs. I don't hmm. know. Maybe they always wanted her. I don't know, but I was, I did not get to find out why that I'm very curious what happened at the ninth hour that she ended up playing herself. Maybe so, I always wonder, or maybe she stepped up and said, why didn't y'all ask me? And well, Norman Lear is not going to be like, But hey. none of the original people had anything, you know, played themselves. So uh, that's true. Well, the younger characters, most of them are doing something else. And then the older characters are dead. Yeah. Mm. Well, yeah. so but, they were, there was nothing modern, no modern TV, no modern appliances inside. Oh, it was a revival. No, exactly wow. You know, when you go see, wow. o- if you saw Oklahoma 
on Broadway in 1957, and you saw it in 1987, and it's like the same Oklahoma. Uh, oh, wow. Like that. Exactly. Wow. Like he, he did it. He killed it. I mean, he, he did it. He summed it up perfectly. It was a play. Because they did the word for word, the script, the same, except for word, that one where uh, Jamie Foxx messed up. up. He went up. Jamie Foxx messed up, and instead of uh, <laughs> instead of getting right back into character or whatever, he kind of broke character for a minute and cracked a couple of jokes real quick. Of course. And, and then he went back into character, which that was like, you know, kind of... Uh, it was funny. It was live. And it was live, and it was it was kind of cool. It was against what you're supposed to do live, but, mm-hmm, you know, it still mm-hmm. was entertaining. Yeah. So, it, you know. Wow. And his portrayal of George uh, Jefferson was was like very very saturday night live like wow for me it felt parody sketch, yeah it felt sketch comedy like instead of like really trying to embody the character mm-hmm. right he was like being very wow like like let me do sherman hemsley yeah like mm. like doing like it like if he was stand, doing stand-up and doing yeah. sherman hemsley you know before it was funny but it didn't really fit to me right you know it didn't work i didn't like it, it went didn't wow. But I right. like I like Kerry Washington's uh portrayal of Roxy Rucker. He was wondering who was gonna play Roxy Rucker. Mm-hmm. It was uh Kerry, Kerry Washington. Washington. I heard I that. I think she did well. That's a good casting choice. Yeah. So if they were to bring this back as a show show with these characters, would you guys watch it? No. No. I wouldn't. No. Oh, that's too no. nice. Oh. Dang. No, because that? again, like you said, this we already got Nick at night. Right. Why yeah. need to watch Why watch the no, they would have to now if they were gonna, you know, do a modern version with these same people, I had to see that mm-hmm. modern version mm-hmm. to say, but based off what I saw, no, I wouldn't, you know, and I didn't like, um, I can't think of Amber, Amber, Amber Stevens. This Stevens, something else. Cause I think it's Stevens West. She got married now. Uh, I didn't like her portrayal of, uh, and the casting for her, for Jenny, okay. for Jenny Jefferson. I would even watch I'm it. Not Jenny Jefferson, Jenny, uh, uh, Willis. I would even watch it if, they did it. If it, even if it was set period, like it was set in the seventies, and they were doing it that time. But if they just did it modern, mm-hmm. like just mm-hmm. stop, don't stop, stop doing what you already did. Right, right. I don't, don't want to see that. Shoot it differently. It's new technology. Make it look nice. Right. Yeah. You know how they keep doing Spider Man. Yeah. Like that. <laughs> <laughs> it's the same story, but it's a different person. You know what? I want to see the Jeffersons before they made it famous, even before they made it big. Take like me back prequel? there. Yeah, like a prequel. Well, you would if you watched that. <laughs> if you had watched that, the, the episode of All in the Family had the Jeffersons on there. Oh wow! So, well, there you go. Before, yeah, you would you would have got to see them. Or if you saw the episode about George's first dollar on the wall, right? When yeah. the store opened. That oh, I think I did, do remember that one. Okay. So, well, I have <laughs> I have a crazy story. So I uh, my doctor's offices are right near where I work, like a, you know, I'm on 7th and, uh, 7th and, well, whatever, I'm on 7th Street, and then one block up is Wilshire, mm-hmm. and all of my doctors in my hospital, my whole network or whatever, mm-hmm. this is the Good Samaritan Hospital is right up there. Oh, yeah, yeah, so, familiar. Yeah, so all my doctors, well, not all, but majority of my doctor's offices are up there in the mm-hmm. labs and all that kind of stuff, so it's real convenient. So Friday, I had a doctor's appointment, so I worked half a day and took the rest of the day off, and then I was going to do my appointments and then go home. So I left my one appointment with my my uh, regular doctor, my G, my GP, general practitioner, or whatever, and she sent me over to the hospital to get X-rays hmm. on my shoulder because I'm having some issues with my shoulder. So it's only a couple buildings over, mm-hmm. you know, like two blocks, if that. So I'm walking down the street, and you know, I'm on I, I'm actually on on my headset on my phone talking to my buddy Lance, and um, I see a couple of Mexican guys talking. They're off to the side, and there's like this homeless street looking person over there sitting on and kind of in the cut and they're over there with him. And as I approach, they start walking away from him. There's these two Mexican dudes, one fat, one skinny. And I didn't, you don't think much of it. And they kind of sort of separated as I approached to allow me to go through the middle. Mm -hmm. And so as I walking past the fat one says something to me, he says, Hey, or what's up or something like that. But then I can't remember what he said. And I don't know if I heard him all the way, but he said something after that. And the, the part after that is what kind of threw me a little bit. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. And I don't know if he was like, I don't know if he said like, what's up, fool? Or uh, something like that. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? I don't know exactly what it was. Something like that. And I was just kind of like, you know, I didn't think too much of it. The skinny one, he kind of sped up, right? Mm-hmm. So that he's in front of me. And then the fat one fell back. So he's behind me. Mm-hmm. Immediately, my spidey sense went off. Right. Of course. Right? 
And I thought about that episode of The Wire with Front and Follow. Remember when Naughty taught his, his boys Front and Follow? Front and Follow. Yeah. So I'm like, they front, these motherfuckers <laughs> trying to front and follow me? Right? <laughs> <laughs> so I'm, I'm walking down the street and I'm trying to keep an eye on the one behind me, which right. is impossible. I see the one in front of me keep looking over his shoulder. Mm-hmm. Right? And the one behind me, he's, he's when, I, when we first start walking, he's over my right shoulder, which is my worst eye. Mm-hmm. Like, I'm practically blind in that eye, so... What I did, I moved all the way to the right side of the sidewalk mm-hmm. so that he's over my left shoulder, right. which gives me a little bit of, a, you know, that's my better uh-huh, eye. Better peripheral. So I'm, you know, trying to keep him my peripheral. I see him kind of, you know, looking at me, whatever, and like keeping pace behind me. So I come upon this this door that I know is an exit only, mm-hmm. but I stopped there to look to see if I could get in just to play it off so that he can get in front of me, right? Mm-hmm. right? But also trying not to like, you know, Give it, give it away. Give right, it away. Right, 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 right. So I do that, and he ends up, you know, passing me up or whatever. And so I get back on on the sidewalk, and they're both in front of me. I'm keeping track, um, you know, looking at them. And I'm at the same time I'm starting to tell my buddy, I'm like, hey, there's something going on. These two Mexican dudes, they are shady, and I think they're trying to get me, mm-hmm. right? I think they're trying to stick me up. And so the fat one then circles back and gets behind me again. Oh, wow. And so at this point, I'm like, be damned with the pretense. I just stop. I turn sideways so that I'm facing the street, mm-hmm. right? And my back is to the the hospital and I let him go past me. And I'm looking at him like, yeah, I know what the fuck's going on. I ain't right. born yesterday, mm-hmm, right? Mm-hmm. And so he knows that I know what's going on now mm-hmm. too, obviously. Mm-hmm. And he kind of looks me up and down and he makes a comment about like nice watch or something like that, right? Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. Which, you know, I'm like, whatever. And I'm not even wearing like, I'm just wearing my... my it's a Movado. It's my everyday watch. It's like the low end Movado, like not the the good one. My good one, I don't, you know, I don't wear the expensive one. But anyway, so uh, the both of them are walking in front of me now. We get to the hospital. Like I said, it was only like a couple blocks. So at the hospital at this point, they stop at the corner of where the hospital is, and there's a bus stop there. So I don't know if they're getting on the bus or what, but they kind of just stop there, and I walk past them, and I see them they're still looking at me, right, still mm-hmm. watching me. Uh, so I turn the corner, go up. I go into the hospital and I go in and I do my business, right? Mm-hmm. It's not a quick trip, but it's not a short trip either. I didn't have an appointment. It was my first time there. So I had to fill all that, you know, the, the, all those papers uh-huh, that you got to do uh-huh. the first time you right. anywhere. I had to do all that, go in, get the x-rays, all that. Come. So I'm coming out the building. These motherfuckers sitting there waiting for me. Huh? Not only are they sitting there waiting for me, he tells me he's waiting for me. Whoa. Yes, that's how bold these motherfuckers are. And mind you, this is broad daylight. They in front of the hospital. This is broad daylight on Wilshire. Oh my god! High fucking noon, right? And so I come out the I come out the doors or whatever, and they're like, "Oh, hey, there he is. What's up, fool? Been waiting for you." And my adrenaline just I got a <laughs> right. rush. Of, I got a rush Spice. of a, a rush of adrenaline, right? And I was like. Oh, you waiting for me? Cool, motherfucker. I got something for you. <laughs> and he said, what? And and they had stood up to follow me again, right? And so I turned around and I said, I cut fat fuckers first. Ooh. And he said, what did you say? I said, there ain't but one fat fuck in front of me. <laughs> I cut fat fuckers first. You think you're going to follow me all over goddamn downtown LA and no. catch me slipping? I like fuck that. We gonna go. We are gonna go right now. You want what I got? Damn, Come get it. You know. And then by this time, there's like a circle of people, and like you know, I'm hearing somebody talking about security or whatever, and they're like, "Oh, this this is motherfucker crazy. Duh. He's crazy. This fool crazy. Whatever." I'm like, "Right. I'm crazy. Remember that shit the next time you run up on me." All right. I like the crazy approach. That's my that's my go to. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. Definitely. And I knew I like the, no I, knife, could, I, I could tell the fat one was like the leader. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Like, he felt like the leader. So that's why I was, like, mostly aggressive towards him mm-hmm. and went to make sure he knew. Yeah. Like, I'm coming for your ass first. Right. You know what I'm saying? Wow. So. Wow. Fuck both y'all. You want what I got? Come take it. Let's go. Right here, right now. Fuck trying to find me, you know, find some comfortable spot where you're going to catch me slipping. It's so funny to me because I would, I'm just thinking rationally with my mind, you don't look like no easy target. Right. <laughs> so <laughs> everybody vulnerable out there. <laughs> That's so, what I'm saying. Like, like I, I'm trying to pick a little lamb. Yeah, <laughs> you gonna pick somebody hunt, they, huddled over with their backpack on Instagram? Why would you pick the six foot something <laughs> guy that's gonna squash you <laughs> and then take your stuff? Well, I, I mean, it, it wasn't small dudes either, but still, and it was two of them. You know, I don't know what he had. One of them, the fat one, had on a big coat. Right. You know, and it wasn't really that kind of cold. 
Mm, you know what I mean? I had right. on a little sweater hoodie right. and it was kind of warm. Right. So I don't know what he had in there. You know what I'm saying? He could have had some or not, but I don't know. Oh my god. But gosh. they definitely was up to no good and I yeah. wasn't about to try and wait to find out what it was. Yeah, no. Don't uh, wait. You did dang. the right thing, definitely. But uh yeah. So that was